Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you are into costumes and Halloween as much as I am, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you a new costume because I'm going to be giving you some awesome ideas without breaking the bank, also utilizing some items you already have at home. This is Halloween and with Christmas over, once again, Halloween is right around the corner. Time to start planning. In today's episode, we will be recreating Winifred Sanderson from the 1993 hit Halloween film Hocus Pocus. She was Bette Midler's character and probably the most recognizable of the three Sanderson sisters. And today, we're going to make it happen. Let's get started. First costume of the year and I am ready to go with this really nice ensemble here. I actually purchased this costume. Some I make, some I create, some I purchase. It just all depends. But this one in particular, I went ahead and purchased it. It's a little more complicated as far as just all the details and stuff. And this is a pretty good costume. I got this off of Amazon. It was reasonably priced and it came in and it didn't look cheap. So I really like this. This is the, it came with just the dress. And then I bought the cape separate. It's just a green cape with a hood on it. I already had a black slip to just make it a little more full. I'm gonna wear some black pantyhose, black boots, and I bought a wig off of Amazon that actually came with the accessories. It came with the necklace, the earrings, and even the teeth, and it was only like 26 bucks. So it was a really great deal. Let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. It is a crazy windy day in St. Pete, Florida. I mean, the wind has been lashing and whipping since early this morning. It's been going on all day, and I hope it can maintain its integrity until we take photos, because I think the wind would be awesome for photos of a witch. So <laughs> that said, I already put on my foundation, I put on powder, because I'm a powder girl, and I glued down my eyebrows and powdered those and put foundation. So I'm ready to go with my makeup. Looking at photographs of Winifred Sanderson, she doesn't have much of a brow at all. I think it's because her brows are just, it's not one of her attributes that's really highlighted in the film. And I guess she looks maybe more witchy with with real light colored eyebrows but very 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 light i just purchased this pencil today i'm gonna pencil in some brow a little bit of brow really a lot lower than my natural brow line so like down here I'm just gonna make some I haven't used this pencil before brand new this is what i'm doing just trying to make a little bit and right there in the front and that's it the rest kind of goes up into my natural brow, which has been covered up with the glue. And that's pretty much it. Really light, hardly any eyebrow at all. Hocus Pocus was kind of a big deal last year, 2023. And I was like, why all of a sudden this coming back out? And then I find out that there was a Hocus Pocus 2 released on Disney Plus September 30th of 2022. And I'm like, okay, I didn't even know that. So 19 years later, they released the Hocus Pocus 2 on Disney Plus. And then last year, 2023, July 16th, was the 20 year anniversary of Hocus Pocus. I haven't watched Hocus Pocus since I was a kid. I did not watch it for this costume or anything. I've looked at a lot of the photographs online. Hocus Pocus was never really my favorite witch movie. I have a couple and you probably can identify or relate with me but my favorite two witch movies of all time were the craft and practical magic those to me were the best witch movies i just loved the chemistry of the acting in those films now i do kind of want to go back and watch hocus pocus but i think i saw it in theaters whenever it came out back then and it wasn't one of those that just struck me that I want to watch over and over again or anything like that. 
you know, it was just kind of a one-off thing. And I went and saw it and I was like, oh, that was pretty good or whatever. And I don't even remember a thing about the movie. Now, don't come for me, but ben, Bette Midler has never really been one of my favorite actresses anyway. She's very theatrical, very Broadway, and I'm not a big Broadway fan. I have mentioned that in some of my other videos. Just not big on Broadway. That's just me. Musicals and stuff like that. Not really my thing. Her best movie, what I believe to be her best movie, was actually a movie called Beaches from, gosh, it was probably 90 or 91 when that movie came out. If I had to guess. And Beaches was just an awesome movie. The Wind Beneath My Wings was like the musical score. So you're gonna wanna get out your tissues if you're gonna watch that movie. But it was really, really good. About a friendship, a best friendship. And the one friend, Bette Miller's character, gets really famous and the other one is just kind of walked in her shadow, you know, but always supported her sort of thing. Anyway, I don't wanna tell you too much of the movie. You should go and watch it if you are a Bette Midler fan or if you're interested, it was a really good movie. So let me just stop chattering and I'm just gonna be using regular makeup for this one. I've got a Tarte palette with some darker colors in here. There's one called Dunes that I'm probably gonna be using for my eyes. This Tarte palette smells amazing. I don't know, it smells like vanilla. It's awesome. And then I'm gonna be using just my Ulta Beauty palette and I'm gonna go with a very pinky blush for the cheeks. Uh, I bought some eyelashes for this one and I bought some new eyelash glue because I'd been using the same one for like years and I needed it. That's basically it. Uh, lipstick, I have a lip liner, red lip liner, and I just bought this lipstick. I'm now in love with the Smooth Whip by NYX. It's a really good lipstick. I'm gonna fill in with this for the lips. Obviously I got teeth with my costume. I'm gonna go off camera to put those on. The first thing I wanna do, she has a bigger nose than me, so I was gonna try and make my nose bigger using some Ben Nine Nose and Scar Wax. So I'm just gonna put a little spirit gum adhesive on my nose and try to just mold a little bit of a bigger nose. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I just got out a little bit of the Ben Nine Nose and Scar Wax, it's right here. You can order this on Amazon or not at all. Use your own nose if you want to. It's I'm just doing this to be extra, <laughs> you know me. So uh, I'm just kind of forming it in my hands. I'm gonna form it to go around my own nose here. Now that my spirit gum is nice and tacky, just gonna blend it. And I just want like the tip of my nose to be bigger. So that's what I've kind of pulled from the thing. So it's just gonna be like my, the middle of my nose, if you will. So I'm just blending the sides. You can, once it's on, you can blend that wax to where it pretty much touches your skin and it's so thin. This stuff works really well for exaggerated features and scars and stuff like that. Need to put a little of the uh, spirit gum under my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Q-tip to press it up. Once I've got the shape that I want, I'm just blending now with some foundation. That's it. And it's pretty easy. It happens pretty fast. You just want to blend those sides in as close to your skin as you can. That way it looks more natural. And I'm just blending with my foundation so that the nose and my face are all the same color. <laughs> and that wax will still blend even when you're putting your foundation on. If there's a little crinkle or something, you can smooth it out with your finger while you're putting your foundation on there. This is not a necessary <laughs> part of the costume. With the dress, the makeup, the accessories, and of course the teeth, you'll be fine. So you don't have to do this part, but I'm just telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put a little powder. See, it's kind of, the nose also to me, with her, it just kind of looks witchy. Witches are known to have big noses, you know? It's kind of one of their trademarks. So the fact that she just has a big nose, it contributes to that character, I believe. And that is the Ben Nye 
nose and scar wax. I'm also using some spirit gum adhesive for that. And now it's done. We can move on. In the movie, she has a dark eyeshadow and it's not very well blended. It's just kind of right around the eye. I'm going to use this Dunes color. It's kind of a taupe, a dark taupe. I'm gonna put right on my eyelid and go around. Hopefully it's dark enough. Yeah, I think it will be. That's what we're going for. I'm also gonna go right under my eye, just a little thin line there right under the eye. <laughs> I put my teeth in. They're gonna give you a little list of directions just follow their directions. They work pretty good, but they get, they make you talk kind of funny. <laughs> Naturally. And I also put my eyelashes on. My nose is done. We just need a little blush. Uh, and of course, our lips. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to do a little bit of lines too. She's kind of an older witch. So I'm going to put some lines in there. I'm really shocked that the teeth work so well but they stay in what very good. I haven't seen it in a, in a long time. It may even make you talk like her. I don't remember what she sounded like or anything. Really bright pinky blush right here on the apples of your cheeks. I think she's a funny character, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna outline our lip. So she almost has a geisha lip. We need to, I'll take concealer and conceal outside of where we're gonna go. You're gonna wanna carry a concealer and lipstick with you for this costume. Probably powder too. Let's go ahead and outline our lip. If you want, you could also do that with a Sharpie. I've done it plenty of times. It'll stay on all night. <laughs> Kinda like a little heart at the top and then Round it on the bottom. Now we're just gonna fill in. All we need is a little bit of wrinkles and we'll be set. So I'm gonna take this same palette. It has a, some light browns and flesh tones in it. So I'm just gonna take some from this palette and create lines. Some forehead wrinkles, smile wrinkles, and we should be done. And then I want to do a little something with my wig. Using an eyeshadow kind of it blends better. It looks more natural than using a pencil. And you can just wipe off any excess. And we're gonna do some forehead wrinkles. Just a few. Couple, I should say. What do you think? Blend a little more? Let's get our wig. The wig is on. So the only thing I don't really like about this wig, other than that, it's perfect. It doesn't have the widow's peak. You can kind of draw one on your forehead if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it's fine. It works. I'm gonna spray a little of this gold into it. I've got some gold hairspray paint and I'm gonna kind of spray some in because her hair was not just red. It had some probably blonde or even white in it because she's older. So let's see if it works. I don't know if it'll work on synthetic hair. So we'll see. It did actually, it worked quite well. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm a Sanderson sister. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go get dressed and take some photos. All dressed up and ready for photos.
Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. It was perfect for the weather. Man, my cape was whipping in the wind. Remember, there's going to be like 32 more costumes this year and a lot more ideas. So be sure if you're not already to go ahead and subscribe. Comment below of maybe some costume ideas you'd like to see and share the video with a friend. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.